Good evening YouTube and welcome to Vitamin DJ's back garden. Or is yard? No, this is England, we say garden. But I'm American by spirit, so I will say yard. I say what I want, damn it! And immediately from being outside, I'm very conscious about who can hear me outside or parents. You know, in the house, yeah, they're back. Anyway, so today I decided to uh, throw it over to you guys to let me know what to talk about today. So the responses that I got on Twitter were uh, from Ukulele17. She's also on YouTube as Ukulele17 or Laurel Vlogs. Both of those links are in the doobly doo. And she tweeted me to talk about how amazing she is. Hashtag self centered. I shouldn't even need to put this in a video. Everyone should know how amazing she is. That's why her links are in the doobly doo. Check her out and subscribe and follow her Twitter. She's like the queen of hashtags. She's such a big influence on me. That's why I do. It. Is that good enough for you, Laurel? Hope so. Dead End Door 94 asked me to uh, tell something like a story about my childhood. I suppose one story that I'm willing to share with you about my childhood that was embarrassing is uh, something about how I injured myself. I guess I was about eight or nine at the time because I was still in junior school. So I was about year five, I think I was in school. I'm not sure what that is in America. And it was a nice day and I was playing football with some friends in the uh, in the playground. And I began to, you know, run back, you know, so I could get the ball and, you know, charge towards the other half. But in doing so, somehow I managed to trip over my own foot and eventually I found out that I sprained my ankle. Yeah, I sprained my ankle by falling over myself. Hashtag child humiliation. Yeah, as soon as it happened, it really bloody hurt. And what always sticks in my mind is how two of my friends actually pretended to be uh, like stretcher people and like lift me over to the side. I, no, it, it, it amuses me as a football fan. So eventually I went to the school nurse and I said what happened and she just wrote a note you know, for me to give to my mum that Daniel hurt his foot in school today. Nurse, I think I did a little bit more than hurt my foot at school today. I bloody sprained my ankle! While well, falling over myself, but, you know, keep that on the down low. So it got to the end of the school day, and I couldn't even put my shoe back on, because I took it off to put some ice on it. And for some reason, I chose to walk home with one shoe on, you know, on my foot that was fine, but take the shoe off of the foot that was, you know, injured. So I was walking home like... Dum, 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 dum. Anyone that was watching, we were probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? Why does he not just take off the other shoe? Yeah, I was like eight or nine years old. I don't think about that kind of stuff. So eventually I went to the doctor and found out that I had a sprained ankle. Hope that's embarrassing enough for you. So on my Facebook, I asked the same question and Charlie Kevin Smith asked me to talk about England. More specifically, what it's like to live there. Um, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's, it's no America. But I guess for the neutral, I will say what it's like. We either get two summers here. One where it's like boiling hot all the time and it's like an unusual freak like heat wave. Or it just rains for the whole summer. And so far the summer has not actually been too bad. I think we're actually in a little bit of a drought, which is kind of rare for at least Bristol, the southwest. What else? Uh, everyone likes tea. Everyone in the west country loves some cider. I personally don't. I'd much rather have a Cornetto. Annotation up there. Watch my last video. All about British food, you know, a staple diet. Well, there's fish and chips, you know, takeaway, that's gorgeous. There's toad in the hole, and somehow we've managed to adopt curries and Chinese. We're just that unimaginative. I'm not complaining, they're really tasty. And I want to end my video on one final meme. Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> No, I'm not choking. I'm not dying. That's the noise that he's making in the meme. For all of the information that's actually correct, go to knowyourmeme.com and just look him up there. He's going to be on there. But basically, there's been this recent meme where, uh, like, there's this clip from the Wild Thornberries where he's giving a speech and he makes that weird noise. Like, and people have decided to uh, put that into songs or, uh, like, pieces of, like, like film to much hilarity. I mean, the ones that I've seen, I've seen a, a remix with Poker Face by Lady Gaga. That works really well. Bad of Romance, that's my personal favourite. Oh, and there's Kesha with her blah 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 song. Someone's remixed Nigel Thornberry with that. Genius. It doesn't make any sense, and that's why it's hilarious. So I'm gonna leave it there for today. So thank you for watching. The subscribe button is up there, the like and the favourite button. All that good stuff. Again, always check my doobly-doo for more information because there's my Twitter, Facebook, Daily Boo, VU, District Line store. And until tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow, obviously. See ya.